According to my computer screen, we now have a live webinar. I'm Congressman Bishop, and I know a number of you joined us out there uh, via this Zoom call, this webinar, to be able to learn some information from uh, experts at the Small Business Administration who have been kind enough to agree to join us uh, about the second round of the Paycheck Protection Program uh, Congress has, has authorized. Um, you know, in, in uh, Washington, I've been during my first partial term in Congress, of course, have just started the second uh, term, but have been on the Small Business Committee. And uh, as, a, as a member of the Small Business Committee, my uh, top priority since the, um, since the dawn of the COVID pandemic has been to uh, uh, give small businesses the relief that they need in order to stay in business. Uh, and the, the core of that, as it, uh, as it happened, once we passed the landmark CARES Act, I believe it was last April, uh, was the Paycheck Protection Program. And it was a, a very large effort. I would say to you that it was, I think, um, in many ways, one of the most successful programs in the history of the federal government in terms of being able to move money into the private sector to the rescue of small businesses whose businesses were effectively shut down by the uh, pandemic. Uh, and it happened extraordinarily rapidly, even though there are frustrations with it. And I'm sure you, many of you probably experienced those, heard about those, uh, but it was enormously successful. Uh, in the ninth district, there were almost 15,000 paycheck protection, uh, forgivable loans made to small businesses. And uh, the estimate is that the jobs retained as a result of that original run of the PPP, uh, both the original one, and we did actually supplement it with some additional funding, uh, were about, about 180,000 jobs, a little bit more than that. Um, but as, uh, as as the COVID pandemic has continued a lot longer, you know, when they first calculated the PPP loans, the legislative uh, language provided for essentially two and a half times uh, the, a business's monthly uh, uh, payroll. I, and and uh, maybe I, they could use it for a couple of other things, but I believe that was the basic calculation. We have moved as of uh, April, maybe by the end of June or in the July, we'd be uh, past the main, the, the hard part of the pandemic, and we'd be back to business. And we have had business resume in significant ways, but it's been, you know, start and stop, and the pandemic continues to affect lives very severely and businesses as well. Uh, and so for a long time in Congress, we've recognized that there was a need for an additional support for uh, some businesses to have a second round of paycheck protection loans and uh, so Congress, not as soon as I would have liked, but Congress has passed reauthorization of the program, another $284.5 billion to reopen and strengthen the Paycheck Protection Program, uh, both for first and second time borrowers. Now, the, the big difference uh, is it is now uh, going to be uh, uh, effectively tied to how, how severely a business has been affected uh, in the, in the, by um, having a, a revenue test, if you've had a certain effect on revenue, impact on revenue that you can demonstrate. But these folks who are here with us tonight uh, can give details and they can correct any misstatement that I've made, uh, but they certainly pass on to you the information that you need uh, to apply perhaps, or to, or to guide others that you know in uh, seeking additional relief under the Paycheck Protection Program. Uh, before I begin, or before I turn it over to Mike Ariola um, of the SBA, let me also ask you uh, who are listening tonight to um, down at the bottom of your screen, you'll find there's a Q&A tab. And if you're interested in uh, adding in, in uh, asking a question for these experts, uh, we'll pick as many of those as we can and post them to this team and uh, they'll uh, give you the information that you need. And I'll mention that again at the end, but let me just now introduce the folks who are with us. Uh, first of all is uh, Mike Ariola, who is Acting District Director for the Small Business Administration's North Carolina District Office based in Charlotte, which as you know, well, I, I guess, Mike, I'm not sure if it's within the district, but it's because I got a little piece of Charlotte in the Southeast area, I think out in the Fairview Road area, if I'm not mistaken, is that right? 
Um, but uh, Mike has uh, uh, served as a deputy district director in Charlotte for the last years. Uh, he, prior to that, he was a senior area manager for the SBA in Western North Carolina, based in Asheville for 10 years. So he's got a lot of experience in at SBA. And before Mike came to SBA, uh, he had an extensive background in commercial banking. So uh, I'm so grateful for Mike's willingness to come on to this evening. Thank you, Mike. That's good. And uh, I also want to introduce to Karen Hoskins, who's a lead lender relations specialist, uh, 30 years experience with U.S. Small Business Administration. Uh, so another very ex extremely experienced uh, professional uh, to provide information to you tonight. Thank you, Karen, for being here as well. You're welcome. And then finally, Walter Lara Figueroa is a uh, lender relations specialist as well. Uh, and um, he has uh, serves as liaison for lenders in North Carolina and uh, performs community outreach to underserved communities and uh, has a great deal of experience with SBA. So Walter, thank you also. And so now, um, I think what I would, Mike, as, as we begin and before questions uh, come in that we can uh, respond to specifically, uh, if you tell folks a little bit about this new round of PPP and uh, who can qualify and whatever else you think might be most relevant to the folks who are, who are uh, with us. Sure, I'd be happy to. And what I thought I'd do is just cover um, sort of